Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 25th, 26th, so Tuesday to Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is for all signs that may not resonate with you. Typically, these readings are for people that need it the most, you know? That's just the way it goes, right? Mmm, beautiful. Somebody is coming out of the darkness, taking back, okay? I'm, I'm for personal freedom. You know, I'm taking back the control. Restoring. This is a time of restoration of, you know, getting back your power. No longer being controlled. It's like you're not going to be controlled by these demons anymore. No, no. And this is coming out of a coming out of the darkness, okay? Beginning to see the light. It's the end of a difficult situation. Yeah, somebody is absolutely taking back control. Regaining structure, regaining organization, taking the lead. feeling really happy with what's going on too it's like you know right now I feel like you're in a spot where it's about you being in control and not allowing anybody to take away you know this is I'm not gonna I don't have anything to give to you right now because I need to work on me Now let's see what let's see what else comes. Ooh, uh oh. You know, there's always <laughs> that's the way it goes too, isn't it? It's when you decide, when you decide, you know what? It's all about me right now. It's all about me. I'm good. I'm so good. I don't I don't want to I don't want to date. I don't wanna it's not time to have fun. It's time to get down to business. You know, you get to that point where I'm going I'm getting down to business. Working on my own happiness. I'm working on bringing back structure and control in my life. I'm getting out of a dark period. So yeah, right now I don't want to date. <laughs> then somebody shows up. Ain't that the way it always goes? Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. And of course, it would be a soulmate connection. God damn it. Excuse my language. You know that. You know that I can't control. So, anyway, <laughs> hmm. you're, you're in the process of, of re restoration, right? That's what's going on here. It's like, you know, I've been in a toxic situation. I'm going through a cleansing. I'm working on me. I'm working on um, just being... <laughs> Getting, getting my strength back, okay? I'm working on, you know, regaining what's been lost in my life, okay? So right now, I'm just coming out of this period of darkness. I don't feel like I can get out there and date. I just don't want to, okay? I just, I just don't, I just don't have the, the desire to I don't have anything to give, okay? My cups are empty right now. My cups are empty. So, you know, I don't, I, I, you know, eventually I might want a commitment, but not right now. And it feels like you're really happy with where you're at because right now you're, you're really in a state of um, your own stability, okay? It's like I'm stable right here. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am. I'm happy right here. Then, then we get this this <laughs> instant attraction, okay? We get this instant attraction that shows up. And um, it's undeniable. There's an undeniable attraction. It's being, it's being brought to you from, from above, okay? It's like Cupid says, okay, you ready? 
you, you, you've taken back your power, you've taken back your control, and you're you're being the you're being your own boss. You know you're you you got your shit together, right? I mean, you got your shit together. You you know what you're worth. You're 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 not chasing anybody. It's like you're very strong. You're ready. We see, we see that you have. regained your strength we see that you are no longer allowing yourself to be a victim we see that you're beautiful we see that if you're strong more the strong i don't need the strength card strong is here we see that you have dealt with a lot of pain and you're still fighting you're still, you're stronger now. You're really strong. Anyway, we see that you have somebody else and, and we'd like you to, to meet them. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is an unexpected choice in love where you, you, you think that, you know, I don't, I don't want to date. I don't want to date. I'm reluctant to move into any kind of anything with anybody. I am. It's like I don't even want to move into that right now because I'm still, you know, I'm happy. I'm really happy right where I'm at. I'm comfortable right now. I'm really comfortable. I'll just keep working on me, keep working on, on cleansing the whole nine yards. I'm reluctant to move into any kind of relationship because I don't, for one, I don't want to get in a third party relationship. I, I may not, I'm, I'm not sure if I trust even though I am restoring control in my life and I'm taking taking back my power, or I have taken back my power and I feel really, really good about where I'm at. I feel like you may be like, you know, I, I'm not, I just, I don't, I'm not, I, I still don't trust. I, I still don't trust because that damn five of swords, you guys, you might know that's my least favorite card. It's like somebody has hurt me. This person has hurt me to the point where you know, I've had to walk away. I've had to walk away from this person who didn't care about my feelings. So I, I this is carrying on to yesterday. You know, I had to walk away from this person and I'm still, even though I'm taking back my power, it's like I'm still not ready for this this new beginning, you know. So I think that you're, that's why you're at, you're at this point of empress mode or emperor mode where it's like, you know, Right now, I'm I'm going I'm going through a rebirth. I'm going through a period of healing, you know. And I just gave birth to the new me. I I, I just barely gave birth to the new me. So I, I'm not sure that I I have anything to give. Even though I I feel the attraction, so there is going. It feels like that unexpectedly somebody is going to come into your life now. Keep in mind that these daily vibes, for me, they don't happen on the day. Some they have, but some usually they're it's like a week later or three days later for me. It's really weird. But anyway, um, this is an unexpected choice in love with somebody who is not your usual type, who is going to love the skin that you're in. They are going to love you for who you are. They are going to see your beauty. They are going to see your your worth. And perhaps they haven't been communicating with you because they saw that you were in a period of darkness. Perhaps that's the case. I don't know. But here we have a, the uh, gift. It really is a gift. Okay, this angel of love really is is bringing you somebody that is probably going to help you to heal. Okay? So I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to... Do you want to allow this person into your life or do you want to not trust them because of what happened to you in the past? Now, whoever this person is, is probably, I think this is somebody new. Okay, because if you see what's underneath it, the devil reverse, it's not that toxic situation that you have just gotten out of. It's not. It's not. 
those chains have been broke. And when those chains get broke, when they literally get broke, okay, when they're really, 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 really broke, the chains are broke, the bond has been severed, then that new opportunity comes in. Okay, this is also a card of, well, it's a card of choices. It's a card of um, consequences as well. So the consequences here is, is either you have, the consequences is, there's a good and a bad, right? There's, you, this could lead to marriage with a soulmate. Or you could be reluctant to let it end. I mean, to let it in because of what has happened that, that what has happened in the past. Now, this this is about past and future. It really is the lovers card. It's like the, that's part of the consequences. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you move forward? Because right now you have an opportunity. It's unexpected. Do you want this opportunity? Because there's an opportunity to come together with somebody that will help you heal. And it is a soulmate connection that they feel, they feel that you are ready for. But of course, your free will plays a part. You can, con you can continue to stay bound to this toxic situation. Or you can truly, truly, truly walk away. Okay? So, like I said, this is a card of consequences. Somebody has been through a lot of pain. They have gained a lot of wisdom through that pain. And now I feel like you may be a little guarded. You may be a little reluctant. This is reluctant. Reluctant to move on. Reluctant to date. Reluctant to, you know, give any love. Because you're, you're, you're feeling, you know, it's, it's all about me right now. And I'm, I'm just not. ready to to open up we're gonna get some clarifiers here this ace of swords is oh lack of communication or lack of truth untrusting i think that you you yeah You've been through a lot of pain. You've gone through some sort of rebirth. And you're regaining structure and control in your life. And you're doing quite well. But I don't think that you're able to trust right now. I, I, I don't. I don't think that you are able to trust any new offers at this time. I just don't. I feel like you're at a point where, uh, you know, I don't know. I just got out of something really heavy. <laughs> you know, it was really, really, really heavy. So I don't, I, I, I'm just trying to... Keep things under control right now. I I need to have this control. I need to be in control. So, yeah, somebody is coming in quick. Quick. Could be Gemini. Okay, we have Gemini here, Gemini here. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but I do see that somebody is, is rushing right in quickly. Because... That's what, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's what this, this angel, it's, it's part of the plan, what it is. This is a soulmate connection. This is a soulmate connection as well. So it, it's like, it's like the, the time is now for this person to enter. For those of you that have broken that chain, for those of you that have not broken that chain, then, you know, this is in the future to come after the chain is broken. That bond has been released. There's a new opportunity with somebody that is a much better match. I mean, the lovers is somebody that is well suited for you, okay? Really good, really good suited for you. But you're going to have to let go of your fears that they're going to do to you what this other person did, okay? Um, yeah, but this per whoever's coming in, they are, they are like full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Ooh. Oh, I'm starting to get worried. This is like destiny. 
It is destiny. It absolutely is. Oh my goodness. There's a change of course. And like I remember a minute ago, we were talking about free will. Your free will plays a part. Free will does play a part in accepting this unexpected offer. It does. It looks like this is a fated change of course that you probably weren't ready for. But the universe is saying, oh, but you are ready. I think you are ready. You, you really worked hard. You've dealt with the pain. You've taken steps to keep things structured and controlled, to keep yourself under control. You've gained a lot of strength. Whoever this person is coming in, um, it really could could make you happy. It really could. It's it's really something good. I would. I mean, I know that you don't want to give it a chance. You're reluctant to give it a chance, but. It really could be what you have been wishing for. Subconsciously, even. Yeah. So it looks like you, yeah, you've gained a lot of strength, haven't you? We've talked about that. You have. But, and I do see that you're really guarded. It's like, I don't think I have any fight left for, I, I may, I may have one more, more shot at, at love. You know, you may yet be at that point where, you know, Right now, I'm working on me. I didn't expect this. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't think that I'm ready for this. I am not. <laughs> but I don't want to give it up either. So I think that you're... you're you're going to feel an instant connection with this new person. I don't think you've met this person yet. I don't think that you have met this person. If you have, you've met them recently. Um, I think it's, it's, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be an Aries, could be a Taurus, could be a Libra. <coughs> Sorry. Whatever is happening, there's a change of course that is giving you one more chance at happiness. And it's with somebody who fits you perfectly, who both of you will feel the attractiveness. Both of you will, okay? It will be an instant attraction where there's no worries about what you look like, you know what I mean? It's like they're going to love you for the skin that you're in. So there's, there's, there's no worries with this new person that's coming in. Um... <laughs> It's destined. It is destiny. And it's a soulmate connection. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, there's there's love here. There's a soulmate connection that is being brought to you from the angel. The angels above. I mean, there is. So, and I think it's because you have taken back your power. And this is going to happen very, very unexpectedly and quickly. This is not who you think it is. <clears throat> It's not. It's not somebody from your past either. So for those of you that are like, oh my God, oh my God, my past is coming back. I'm here to tell you, no, that's not the case. This is somebody new. It is. Because you have broken a bond with somebody from your past. The universe sees that you have taken back your control. They do. And for those of you that have done that, there is an opportunity for love that is coming in very quickly and unexpectedly. And it's a destined, you know, fated event. It's like serendipity. And you might want to look it up. It's, a, it's an, a, like a, a fortunate accident. Okay, that's what this is. It's like you meet this person by accident and there's an instant connection. And it's like, oh my God. Oh my God, where did this come from? I can't even believe this. So I, I, it's, that's what it is. It's like, a, it's like a serendipity kind of situation. So I feel it in that is being brought to you from, from above because you have found your strength to persevere 
through a toxic situation and truly walk away. Your strength to persevere and truly walk away from a toxic situation. You find your happiness. You find your connect contentment. And the universe says, bam! Bam! This person loves herself or himself. They love themselves enough. Now I can bring them their divine partner because we have a divine partnership here. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like there's a destined chance meeting that could turn into being the love of your life. So, be prepared. Um, Hmm. Let's get let's get one of these for the heck of it. But this attraction is going to be mutual, okay? So there's not going to be any fight in the attraction, okay? You know what I mean? This is going to be an instant attraction that isn't it's undeniable where the where both neither people are denying it. You know what I mean? It's like you, the other person doesn't have. There's no questioning about it. Okay, so if you if you say right now you've got somebody on your mind. Okay, you're watching this video and you're like, oh no, it's it's her, it's her, it's her. But that her on the other end, that her or him on the other end, they're not communicating with you. They're not talking to you. They're not in your. They don't want to be a part of you. It's not that person, because this person. Is, it's like butterflies, okay? It's like, I can't stay away from you. Both people, both people in this dynamic will not be able to stay away from each other, okay? So that's what this is. They will not be able to stay away from each other. It's a destined chance meeting, okay? Definitely, definitely, definitely soulmate, okay? I mean, I can't, I can't. I mean, it is absolutely, definitely a soulmate connection life partner, that is destined to happen at this time because you have broke the chains from a toxic situation. But I have to remind you because I know there's going to be some people that are confused and think it's the person that's not communicating with them. That's not the case. These two lovers, they're not playing that game. Okay, they're not. They are so attracted to each other that they don't want to be apart. Okay? They don't. So if you're if you're thinking it's somebody who's not communicating with you, I'm here to tell you that you're lying to yourself. This is somebody new where there's an attraction that is so profound that you can't stay away from each other. And it's going to happen fast. Out of the blue. This person is not your usual type. They're not. But. Oh yeah, there's going to be an attraction. There's no doubt about it. Attraction. That's what's happened. Somebody has freed themselves and now they've called in. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yeah, I feel like somebody is about to attract in their divine partner if they have let go of the wrong one. This divine partner is not the one that is not communicating with you. Good luck. <laughs>